you've probably come across all sorts of articles on how to build your audience. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Those articles are full of s**t. They're crap. 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 Mega crap. The only way to build your audience is by being consistent. And yes, that means a lot of things. So today I'm going to talk about all of the things that consistency means and why it's so important to the success of your social and digital endeavors. You might think it's not important, but that's not true. My name is Tara and this is Truly Social. Let's start with my personal experience. For those of you who don't know me or my history, I've been online doing this sort of stuff for a long, long time. You're so old. In the early 2000s, I was pumping out several posts every day on my blog, Horse Pig Cow. This put me in the top rankings of some of the blog lists by 2005, when blog rankings were actually launched. In 2006 though, I joined Twitter and by 2007, I was blogging a whole lot less. My blog? fell off the map <laughs> and my Twitter followers started to grow quickly. At one point, I was in the top 100 accounts for followers. Well, aren't you the big fancy pants indeed? Of course, this was pre-celebrity, but that's beside the point. Because in 2008, I started writing a book and I got super busy and I stopped tweeting as much. And as I slowed my tweets, my growth slowed too. Several years later, I emerged from writing and then building a startup to the realization that out of sight, out of mind applied to the web as well. All of my peers who I had started out with had hundreds and thousands of followers and I had backpedaled and worse, I kind of had to start from scratch. I guess it's back to the drawing board. So this story and all of this is to say the first type of consistency is about showing up regularly and frequently. In fact, the more frequently you show up, the faster you grow and the more people find you. And regularity, it's about showing up on a regular basis so that people come to expect your content and look forward to it. I'm waiting! But consistency isn't just about showing up. It's also about having congruity with your audience. This means you A, know who they are, and B, deliver what is relevant to them. I know a YouTuber who had one of those crazy viral hits after posting weekly for only a few months, and her numbers, they went through the roof. She went from 300 subscribers to 30,000 in a span of a week. But then she did something that stopped this momentum in its tracks. She changed what she was doing. She changed her format from what attracted this audience to something completely different. How would you feel about making a change? We fear change. Now, I'm not saying that she needed to make the same video over and over again forever or that she could never evolve, but it's important that you deliver content that is consistent with the expectations of the people who signed up. So if you're signed up for my social media lessons and rants and all of a sudden I start doing unboxing videos or makeup tutorials, I'll probably lose you. So the second type of consistency is all about creating the content your audience expects. We can expect great things from you. Now, the third type of consistency is more nuanced. It's about being consistent to your values. It's about remaining true to your purpose. This also means that you need a purpose and values in the first place, and it means that you need to align to the purpose and values of your audience, your community, your tribe. In January 2016, a very well-known pair of YouTubers called the Fine Brothers trademarked a type of content that they became famous for, react videos. The idea was to monetize this form of content, and it was mostly an innocent move on their part, but very inconsistent with the YouTube ethos. YouTube is about the democratization of content creation. Anyone who can teach themselves how to shoot and edit videos can grow an audience. By trademarking and then controlling a type of content, even if they were instrumental in making that content famous, they were being inconsistent with the community's values. Almost overnight, they lost more than 200,000 followers, and though they course corrected quickly and announced they weren't pursuing the trademark enforcement, they ended up losing a lot of momentum permanently. I've made a huge mistake. So, some tips to ensure consistency. Number one, post at regular intervals. Pick a day where your audience is likely to have bandwidth to engage with you. I post on Sundays because business types, that's you, usually catch up on the reading on Sundays. When you pick a time and day that people can come and look for your new content online, they most likely will. And if your content doesn't show up then, they're gonna be disappointed. And if your content doesn't show up enough, they're going to abandon ship. 
Number two, post as frequently as possible. I assure you that people won't get bored with you because, well, they won't see everything. Nobody is online 24 seven and the networks filter stuff out anyway. The more frequent you post, the more likely you are to get in front of people and the more top in mind you become, period. Number three, find a consistent format. Studies have shown that familiarity increases trust. Don't be predictable, but definitely don't be erratic in your content. Number four, pick an audience and create content for them and them only. Don't jump all over the place, you'll lose people. And finally, number five, figure out your purpose and values and act in accordance with them all of the time. Be consistent and your growth is sure to be consistent too. Besides, if you don't commit to your content, how do you expect anyone else to, hmm? And hey, now that you know that I won't let you down, you'll probably want to subscribe and click the bell to get notified when my videos come out, which is pretty consistently. My name is Tara and this has been Truly Social.